So, I know I said I was going to do a whiteboard talk today about what to bring and what not to bring, but I don't think I'm going to get to that. Uh, just been a hectic day, finished my internship, and just had a lot going on that had to get done. So, sadly, I'm not going to bring that to you today. Um, but before we do the physique update, I think I just want to talk a little bit about the prep as a whole and how I think a lot of people look at prep, but how I think it should be looked at. And, uh, you know, if you get a great body out of this prep and nothing else, you kind of miss the whole point. You know, it's, it's fun to be able to put on muscle and then shred down and, and bring out a cool physique. But if you can't build a mindset with that, build some drive and determination with that, and you're just kind of suffering through this for the sake of the body itself, you're missing the whole point. I mean, fitness is great, but I don't believe that fitness in and of itself should be an end. You should be getting fit to not only help yourself, but enable you to help others. And for me, being fit is just where I start. And it's the same for Iron Family. That's, that's the whole idea behind this is that we're a family here and we're focused on fitness, but we bring that discipline into every other aspect of our lives and we're able to help people because of that. We're able to be successful because of that. Um, fitness is the greatest tool in building successful people. I mean, you look at people anywhere in the world, uh, there tends to be a trend towards fitness when you look at successful people, successful businessmen. You know, you look at them and say, oh, yeah, it's that guy, at the, he's at the gym, and, you know, he's, he's got the, the body and the car, and, and he's, he's successful, and people wonder why. Well, it's, it's not mutually exclusive things here. It's people who are successful realize that being fit's important, but also that being fit helps ingrain those same disciplines in them that allows them to be successful elsewhere. So here at Iron Family, I want to help utilize that message, get that message out there to help people utilize fitness in a more constructive way than just building up the body, which is great, don't get me wrong, but there's so much more that you can be getting out of these workouts just besides being healthy, being fit, being active, and looking good. And those things, while important, they may not be the most important things in life. So during this cut, I've really realized the power you can have. I mean, you can control the way you look, the way you feel, just by sticking to certain things. And that Discipline now, I know if I bring it anywhere else in my life, I'm going to be able to control my future by being disciplined in certain things, whether that's being disciplined in my personal finances, disciplined at my job. I mean, all these things, you can be successful in just the same way. I mean, just recently, Marie and I were working on a budget plan for ourselves, and, and it was funny. She looked at me, she's like, you know, it's funny, we're cutting down 
superfluous spending like carbs each month trying to cut out a little bit more and cut corners here and there and and help save for things in the future and it's she was right it was just like fitness you learn so much in this industry in working to make yourself better that is directly correlated to things elsewhere in life and when you're able to make those connections and think outside the box like that that's when you really can become successful at stuff so as you do your prep and especially when you get to this peak week really take time to reflect on the whole thing and what you're getting out of it and if it's just the body I think you have to rethink where you're at because building a great body is great but it's not the end all be all of why we're here and I think I know I say that a lot I think I think I think but it's it's because I'm thinking through this while I'm sharing it with you guys and these are my raw thoughts my raw emotions and I share them simply because I'm not afraid I, I'm not afraid to be open and honest and even wrong because I want to share as much as I can um, in hopes that it helps just one person <laughs> So, go look at yourselves in the mirror and really identify what you're getting out of this cut. Because you'll get called, you'll get called a narcissist a lot. You know, you know, be called self-centered a lot. And I think it's up to you to determine if those allegations are true. You know, are you self-centered while you're doing this, or are you doing this for a greater purpose to become a better person, to become a more successful person? To become someone who's going to help other people down the road because of their fitness those are the real questions so i'm going to leave you guys with that and then we're going to do our last physique update before our mock show day tomorrow and this has got me very excited i can't wait to do a real show because it feels kind of weird doing a mock a mock show i really want to actually do a real show it feels like i'm half not half-assing it but it feels like it's not it's, it's not real and it feels like that and so it's discouraging but again like I said, we're, we're monitoring our finances and stuff, and it's all an important part, so I'm not going to spend money on a show when I can't afford it. Everything in moderation. All right. For the last time before show day, let's get into a physique update. comes tomorrow full guide how to go through show day what to eat when to eat it and uh, how to pump up properly I'm excited for it very tired and uh, very ready to start bulking so guys thank you so much for all the support I love you guys iron family for the win I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video